looking for something to personalize or decorate your glassware, this is an idea for you, isn't it, Marlene? It really is. And you know what's so nice about etching is you can just pick up just uh, plain pieces at you know, a very reasonable amount and then make something really elegant out of them. You know what's funny is when you have something like this, you're looking around your home at all the things that you can etch. Oh, and garage sales and other people's cupboards. <laughs> yes. Now, I really am loving this jug. Is that um, a Coca Pelle in there? Right, that's the Coca Pelle. I love that too. That's kind of the thing this year. You see them everywhere. And I have the little Coca Pelle on the uh, vinegar bottle. I guess mm -hmm. that's what that is, isn't it? Yes. And then on the canister, I have the large one. I really am loving it. Like I said, this is so cute. You know, teenagers would even enjoy this, wouldn't they? Right, and you know, this would make a nice canister set to store beans or, you know, whatever in. Oh, sure. And then we've got a candle over here that you put some rub and buff on, didn't you? Right, and the reason I did that is whenever you're etching something, now that jar already had a candle in it. Mm -hmm. So after I etched it, in fact, if you want to turn it around and just show the back. Okay. It's hard to see. So, yes. so you can hardly see that, Be, you know, looking at it without the cameras on it, it's easier. But I thought to give it as a gift, it would be nice to put the rub and buff on and then it would show up more. You're right. Now this one over here has a rose on it. That's really pretty. Isn't that a pretty one? And that was just a little bottle I bought at a kitchen store for 69 cents. No kidding. Yeah, so you know, it'd be fun to just put some potpourri or, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of things in candies. Oh yeah, I'll fill it up with rose petals because it has a rose on the front. Wouldn't My granddaughter nice? said jelly beans and she would take it. <laughs> I would too. <laughs> well, let's get busy. I want to see how you did this. Okay, I have, uh, this is a candle jar that I found. It uh, just holds a little votive mm -hmm. type candle. And I thought putting all the little dragon stencils, see I've got the flying dragon and all the different dragons in the castle. Uh -huh. So I'm just going to put another dragon on it. And I've already just taped it down. I'm just rubbing it on. And all this is doing is it rubbing the adhesive that's on the back of the stencil onto the glass. The armor stencils are so detailed that you have a lot of little cuts in them. Mm -hmm. So you really have to have it rubbed down good so that the cream doesn't uh, seep under whenever you apply it. So where we're seeing the dark blue change to light blue, that's actually sticking to the glass right, surface? Right, that's all sticking down. You always make this seem so easy, Marlene. Well, you know, it really is easy. It's, it's probably one of the easiest crafts there is to do. Now normally I would suggest people take tape and tape all around the edges just to protect the glass in case you would drip some on it. Okay. I'm just going to try to be very careful and not get any where I don't want it. You can see how easy that would be to get the cream on the outside of the stencil. Yes. Now and, is it going to hurt your fingers if you touch it? No, you, you don't want to leave it on your skin. Mm -hmm. And there are, is gloves in the kits if you want to protect your hands that oh, way. I'm just very careful that I don't leave any of the cream on my hands. If I get it on I just wash it right off. Now, I can see uh, young men putting this like on their um, rear view mirrors on the outside and all kinds of things Right. Like that. I teach this at the high school every year and uh, we tell the kids they can bring in anything they want to to etch on and the boys <laughs> always take it out to their cars. That's a great idea. Okay, now we're going to let that set for about 45 seconds okay. and that's all it takes to etch. Wow. Leaving it longer doesn't make it etch any deeper. <laughs> well, let's look at the kit. Uh, in the kit you have um, I think it's about 70 little stencils to work with. Mm -hmm. um, you have the um, glass to practice on. There's a cleaner to clean your glass, and that is important to have a clean glass before you do your etching. Uh -huh. There's a plain piece of vinyl so that you can uh, do your own design if you want to, cut an original, and then your etching cream, your brush to apply it with, and even a, a craft knife to cut your stencil. So you're all set, you're ready all to go. Set. Yes. Well, now tell me about these down here. Uh, these are just all open stock stencils and you know there's lots of armor open stock stencils but this is just the ones that we've used on the projects today. Okay. Well is that ready to yeah, go? Yeah I think this is going to be ready so. This is the best part. And if I were at home I'd put this right under the faucet and wash it off. Okay. And then it comes off just really quickly. And you don't have to be afraid to rub it because you're not rubbing anything off. This isn't on the surface. This uh -huh. is actually etched right into your glass. Wow. You know, I have so many people that say, well, aren't you going to hurt it when you rub it off? Uh -huh. But, you know, there's nothing to rub off. Wow, I can really see the etching coming through. Okay, let's dry this off so you can see it. <laughs> and it has to be dry before it really shows up. Yes. Okay. Oh, Marlene. You see that this showing up This is always here? so fascinating. Isn't it fun? It really is. Thank you so much for being here today. You're welcome, Patty.